is going on YouTube? Espresso Shuko here and today we are hitting the Regulation F Ranked Ladder with this Raging Bolt and Annihilate team. And honestly, these two just synergize so nicely with each other. Annihilate here is naturally a fighting type, which means flying types are one of its biggest weaknesses. And then this particular Annihilate is also Terra Fire, which means it does have to be weary of Urshifu Rapid Strike. And what better way of keeping all of those things in check than having a priority electric type special attack that can just nail things for incredible damage with a high special attack. Oh yeah, that's Raging Bolt right there. So Raging Bolt here just synergizes so nicely with the Annihilate because it can keep a lot of Annihilate's problems in check. And then Annihilate in turn with the Terra Fire can help deal with fairy types that would otherwise threaten Raging Bolt because of its dragon typing. So that is a nice little thing right there. Both of them are going to be set up sweepers with Calm Mind and Bulk Up. Raging Bolt just has bulk for days, so once you get a Calm Mind or two off, it's just going to be living special attacks like there's no tomorrow. And honestly, as far as the investment for the EVs went on this Raging Bolt, I invested more into the HP and physical defense because of that boost to the special defense and the special attack that's coming. Originally too, this thing was going to be more of a supportive mon using Snarl and Electroweb instead of Snarl and Thunderbolt, but both Defiant and Competitive are a thing. So rather than having moves that can potentially activate those abilities that don't have to rely on the opponent going for an attacking move, uh, it kind of just worked out a little bit to have Thunderbolt there instead of Electroweb, and then that way we don't have to worry about accidentally procking those abilities so that's mainly why we did that with the raging bolt as far as the rest of the team goes we have ogre pond for some raw physical damage with the ivy cudgel as well as the horn leech we have follow me to help pull away attacks so that both raging bolt and annihilate can set up with their boosting moves and then we have spiky shield to help keep ogre pond around we have incineroar to do incineroar things we have flare blitz for raw damage we have knockoff to not only do damage to the opponent but to also make them a little bit more manageable by removing their items and then we have fake out and parting shot to either bias a turn or to pivot out into either annihilate ogre pond or basically anyone that we essentially want we have Whimsicott for speed support with Tailwind. We have Moonblast to make sure that it is not just strictly a sitting duck. And then we have Beat Up on here specifically just to hit Annihilate to power up that Rage Fist and basically go right out of the gate. We hit it four times, which means Rage Fist goes up to power 50 times per hit. So there you go. We're looking at roughly a base 250 Rage Fist after one Beat Up. And then Annihilate can just go Ham. It can go Terra Fire. It can go for Bulk Up. And then it even has Drain Punch to help keep it around. And then finally, we have Nine Tails with Aurora Veil to help keep the entire team around by reducing the amount of damage we take. We have a little bit of speed control in the form of Icy Wind. And then we have Helping Hand to just push our attacks over the edge to just ensure that knockout. So without further ado, let's jump into some battles, shall we? All right, so my opponent has Don Dozo, Walking Wake, Chin Pao, Entei, Murkrow, and Tatsugiri. All right, let's go. So what we could do here potentially is we could go for a, a Max Rage Fist with uh, Annihilate and Whimsicott if we really wanted to. Um, we could also go for the Ivy Cudgel off of Ogre Pond. Some other good stuff, too, is we also do have the Follow Me off Ogre Pond. Um, as far as Raging Bolt goes, I do like the fact that I do have the Thunderbolt on here to get the Murkrow. Because the Murkrow being able to just haze away stat boosts, that could be a problem as well. Um, Ninetales and Raging Bolt might not be too bad because I could always go for the Aurora Veil and then get the 8 turns of reduced damage, which... Definitely nothing wrong with that. I could maybe even go Nine Tails and Annihilate right out of the get-go. Go for the Aurora Veil and then maybe go for a Rage Fist. That doesn't hurt by any means. Though, I kind of like Incineroar because Incineroar does have the Parting Shot. So what we could do is we could always Parting Shot into the opponent. So I think what we'll do is we'll go Incineroar, Annihilate, and... Uh, Nine tails. Now, we're not bringing the beat up strategy or the tailwind control, but what I like the idea of doing is I like 
I'm bringing in Annihilate under Aurora Veil, and then that way Annihilate can just naturally get bulky with bulk up, and then just naturally increase its attack with the amount of hits it's going to take anyways. So, let's see. We got Chin Pao and Entei. All right. This is probably the, the GameStop Entei, too, which, nothing wrong with that. I have the, uh, I actually have uh, one myself, which is nice. So, there's the Sword of Ruin. So, Extreme Speed could be a little annoying, but not too bad. They don't actually have the Inner Focus, which means we can go for the Aurora Veil and then go for the Fake Out into the Entei instead. So, I do like that. So, we could do that, and then we'll get the Fake Out. We could always go for the Parting Shot and the Chin Pal, and then bring in Annihilate. And plus, we do have Terra Fire on the Annihilate, so I'm not too worried about the Chin Pal. And Incineroar is just not taking anything from that. That's wonderful. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to slow them down a little bit. Do Annihilate a favor. And we're just going to straight up Flare Blitz into the Chain Pal, because why not? Incineroar's got a decent enough attack stat, even without any attack investment, because this is the standard bulky Incineroar. So... Let's go. Let's go, Snow Tiger. Or I guess that's Gene Pal. No, that's a Snow Leopard. Let's go, Snow Tiger. Hello, Noah. Um, all right, it's going to protect, so unfortunately that's not going to do me any favors. But we got the uh, we got the Icy Wind off into the Entei, at least. So Entei is going to get a little bit slower. We can always Parting Shot into the Gene Pal. Um, Sacred Fire is going to hurt a little bit in the Ninetales, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened. So... I do like the idea of being able to just do raw damage to the Entei, and if I pop Terra Fire right in front of it, that might lure out a Sacred Fire. So let's go for, let's try that again. We'll go for the Flare Blitz into the Chain Pal, and we'll go for the Helping Hand this time. The nice thing here is we have the Speed Drop into the Entei, so, ooh, okay. I'm not opposed to that. So, Murkrow's coming in. Murkrow's not going to enjoy this. Because we're going to do a lot of damage to that Murkrow. And unless this is Focus Ashed, uh, this should be deleting it. So, we'll take the Sacred Fire. The Burn's going to knock us out. We can bring in Annihilate. We can pop the Terra Fire. Murkrow survived. Murkrow got burned, which that's kind of nice. Um, I'm not going to appreciate the Tailwind off of the Murkrow, but Annihilate's going to appreciate that Entei powering it up if it goes for a uh, Sacred Fire into me. I'm trying to burn. So, that is a thing. Preserving my Fake Out would be probably a good idea, too. So, I think what we'll do... We'll go Terra... We'll go Terra Fire. And then... We'll go for a bulk up. And we're going to try to parting shot off of the uh, the Entei. Now, the Murkrow could, in theory, just haze away the bulk up. But my logic here is, if Annihilate gets it, great. Um, if they go Tailwind, great. They're not going to... Uh, they're not going... I lost my train of thought there. Anyways, if they go Tailwind, they can't go haze at the same time. That's what I was getting at. Anyways... And if they try to Sacred Fire Annihilate, well, Annihilate's got the Fire Terra, and then that way, too. We're going to go up a plus one in attack and defense. Okay, I didn't have Sunny Day on the bingo card, but all right. All right, we can do that. We'll Parting Shot off the Entei, and then that way, too, we can preserve our Fake Out and our Intimidate. So, Rage Fist is slowly going up. Nothing wrong with that. My opponent might want to switch out that Entei now, so we could always do that, is have Entei switch out and then let Annihilate just attack into whatever slot that is. Raging Bolt's coming in, so a nice thing what we could do here is we could go for the Snarl or the Thunderbolt. If we go Snarl, we could pick off the Murkrow and get a little bit of chip into... Entei. 
And if Chin Pao comes in, Chin Pao comes in. Or we just drain punch into the Entei slot. Nothing wrong with that. I do want to get rid of the Murkrow before I try to um, go for a Calm Mind, though. I do honestly want to get rid of that in case they do have the, the uh, what, what do you call it, the Haze. Um, also, they just gave me a nice plus two attack off that Snarl. I will definitely take that and drain punch away your HP. And plus, if this Snarl lands, we're going to knock out the Murkrow. Raging Bolt can always switch out to remove that stat drop or go for a Calm Mind. And honestly, I do like the idea of switching in Incineroar. Because then that way, uh, we not only reset, but we can also take a um, Icicle Crash off of the uh, Team Pow. So that might not be the end of the world. No, a Thunderclap into Team Pow might be nice too. I'm not opposed to that either. So Team Pow is coming back in. We got rid of both Entei and Murkrow in one turn, so we get to find out who's left. Oh yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that Walking Wake. Um, switching Incineroar in on it's a little spooky, though. But we do have a plus three Annihilate. And it's time to Rage Fist. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll get the Incineroar in, and then we can also have the Fake Out Pressure. Fake Out will definitely be nice if we don't get rid of Walking Wake this turn. They do have Tailwind, so I do have to be careful with Annihilate, but we should be okay. This is a very, very bulky Annihilate. Now, that said, Hydro Steam is going to be boosted, so here's hoping Annihilate lives it. This is either going to be really, really nice or really, really bad. There's no in-between here. I should have checked the Sun turns, but it is what it is. Um... So, we'll get Insin back in. We do, we're do. we at plus three attack, so that is very good damage. And maybe they just went Draco into the Insin slot. If they did, nice. Okay. I'm fine with that. They're going to go Ice Spinner into the Incineroar. Trying to get rid of the... Okay, wake. Oh. Oh, okay. We're good. Noelle just caught some of my cords. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, she got the headphones that were wrapped around my neck. Ugh. Not only is Incinera destructive, but so is my own cat. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. We got two more turns of sun. I definitely like the idea of going for the Rage Fist into the Walking Wake. And I also like going for the Fake Out. Because we did just see the Protect, so we'll definitely get rid of this. That's the biggest threat gone. And then Chin Pao... It's just going to get to enjoy an Ilape. I get to enjoy an Ilape as well. But, <laughs> Team Pal is going to enjoy it in a different manner. So, there goes the Walking Wake. That's nice. An Ilape only has the base 100 power because it's only been hit once. But, that said, we're in a good position here. Now, they could go Terra Ghost to get around the Drain Punch. Which, if they do, that's fine. We'll go for a knockoff. And my opponent forfeits. So... That works out pretty good, all things considered. Good game to my opponent. All right, my opponent here has Urshifu, Ogre Pond, Entei, Ching Pao, Rillaboom, and Latias. All right, so Thunderclap looks really nice off of the Raging Bolt, so we do have that as an option. Um, Ching Pao and Entei could be a scary core. Ching Pao and Rillaboom could be a scary core as well. But that said, Annihilate looks really good in that core, so we could potentially do something like that. Um, we could bring uh, Mr. Piccolo here and go for the Talon and beat up. We could do that. Um, I really like the look of Annihilate in general here, so I think we're going to bring Annihilate. Now, if they go... If they go into Urshifu Rapid in front of my Annihilate, I can't go for the Terra Fire shenanigans, but that's all right. So maybe we'll bring Raging Bolt in the back, and maybe we'll bring Ogre Pond, and then that way we can hit all the things really hard. Though, that said, the Incineroar Intimidate could be nice too. Maybe we bring Incineroar in the back. Um, yeah, maybe we do that. So let's, uh, let's give this a shot. 
We do have the Thunderclap, which will hit Urshifu really hard, which is nice. And plus, Electric and Dragon is just such a nice typing to deal with water types in general. So, we do have that. Um, and if we don't end up bringing uh, Raging Bolt in against Urshifu, well, it's not the end of the world. We can always bring in the Rage Monkey and just go from there. So, let's see. Entei and Chin Pao, great! And Nihilate loves you too. And Nihilate really loves you too. So, we'll go for our Tailwind. And we're going to go for a bulk up right in front of them. They can't Sacred Sword Annihilate, which is great because I'm still a ghost. And they can't Extreme Speed me. Now, they can always Extreme Speed my Whimsicott, but they're going to want to have to double into it. So, they could potentially go Extreme Speed Icicle Crash. Which wouldn't be the greatest, and then I wouldn't get my beat up, but it's not the end of the world, all things considered. We have a plus one into our attack and defense off the bulk up. And I'm thinking, honestly, we're going to see Sacred Fire Icicle Crash. Alright, so Annihilate takes that. Not the end of the world. And we also take the Sacred Fire Burn. We survive it, but do we burn? We don't. Great. Okay, so... I'm going to Moonblast into the Chain Power Slot, and I'm going to Drain Punch into the Entei. And then that way, if they go for Sacred Fire, I'm going to resist it. That Icicle Crash did a lot of damage, all things considered. So I kind of like the idea of becoming resistant to Ice. And plus, it's also nice being resistant to Fire, and I don't have to worry about getting burned. So we'll go with that. We'll see how Annihilate makes out here. And uh, we'll just go hard. Yeah, and plus if Whimsicott gets that Moonblast off into Chin Pao, that's going to break a Focus Sash, which is going to be wonderful. So, I would have liked to have tried to have gone for the beat up, but I don't think it's necessary at the moment. So, we'll get Annihilate in action and go from there. So, let's see. Yeah, they're going to go Protect. Okay, that's fine. Are you going to Extreme Speed my Whimsicott? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, are you going to Sacred Fire my Annihilate? <laughs> if you do, please. Please do, because then you'll give... I'll, I'll gladly take that uh, extra power to Drain Punch. No, they're going to go Stomping Tantrum into Annihilate. Um, not necessarily what I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, Moonblash will probably get Entei at that range. And Drain Punch looks really, really tempting. You know, if they pop a Terra Ghost, that could be bad, but we'll see. I still have my Tailwind. Actually, what am I at for Tailwind turns? Uh, two out of four. Okay. So, I think what we'll do, we're going to go Moonblast into Chin Pao just in case... And we're going to Drain Punch the Entei. All right, now they're going to go Extreme Speed. All right, that's fine. We'll get a bit, a little bit of HP back off the Entei. And getting rid of Entei is probably going to be for the best. Then that way we don't have to worry about Sacred Fire just burning the rest of the team. And plus, we always have Incineroar with Fake Out. So we do have that at our disposal. We can use that to get around um, something that might give Annihilate a hard time. Now, I definitely want to get a Drain Punch off, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Definitely need a Drain Punch. So. We know Chin Pao for sure has Protect. Urshifu probably has it as well. I'm going to just spread it out. I'll try to get the Drain Punch into Chin Pao. I'll go for the fake out into the Urshifu, and then that way that leaves Raging Bolt an opening to deal with the Urshifu, because Chin Pao is going to be more of a threat to Raging Bolt. I think that's a fair, fair assumption right there. So let's see if we get it right. If they go Protect on Chin Pao, not the end of the world. If they go Terra Ghost, that's really, really bad. But all things considered, if we get this fake out into Urshifu, 
great. We can break a sash. They're going to go for the detect. Makes sense. They're probably honestly going to go for both. Um, like, protect uh, with both of them. They didn't, so that's nice. Uh, we're going to get the Drain Punch and the Chin Pao. We're going to get a lot of HP back, all things considered. Uh, they are Sash, so I do have to be careful. But getting back all that HP is going to be rather nice. Unfortunately, we're not faster than the um, Urshifu of either of these. But what we could do is we can go for a knockoff into the Urshifu, and we can always go for the... We can always try to go for the Drain Punch. Although saving my saving my fake out might be nice too. So maybe what we'll do is we'll bring in the Raging Bolt. And we'll just go for a Rage Fist into the Urshifu. Because maybe they go into the Incineroar slot. That is a possibility. They could. Chain Pao Sacred Sword is going to hurt. And it's going to do a good amount to Annihilate. So we might see that. So. Let's see. And plus, there's nothing wrong with faking out the Urshifu. Now, if my opponent goes for it, there's the Sacred Sword into Annihilate. Did they go for the Annihilate, or did they go for the um, Raging Bolt? Oh, they went for the Bolt! They went for the Bolt! Nice! Okay. We're gonna get this Rage Fist off. And we can always go for the um, Thunderclap into the Chin Pao. Okay. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go, ape. Ape smash, puny bear. Boom. And we know the focus has was on the team battle, so goodbye, Urshifu. And hello, Protect, because that is nice to be able to do. Um, that is something I do want to point out. We don't have to worry about the um, Unseen Fist now. So, Soccer Bunch can always be annoying. There's the Rillaboom. All right. I would like to protect Annihilate and try to go for that Thunderclap into Chain Pal. Now, I don't know the dynamic of how these work with Sucker Punch. I'm pretty sure they're the same priority, so it'll fail. But they just want Protect with Chain Pal. That's fine. Annihilate went with Protect as well. Because um, they could always just fake out the Annihilate. Um, I do have the fake out pressure with Incineroar. So that would be nice. Uh, yeah, that would be nice too. Because I wouldn't necessarily say Annihilate is crucial to uh, to this endgame as well. I could always switch it out. I know that's blasphemy right there. Just Annihilate not being crucial. But I do have to get rid of that Chain Pal. Um, I'm going to try to go for the Thunderclap. And you know what? If Rillaboom gets Annihilate, Rillaboom gets Annihilate. Um, nice. We got the Thunderclap. That's great. So, if Rillaboom gets Annihilate, it does, but not the end of the world. Um, we're actually faster, so we're going to get more HP back. So, that's handy. And if they want to slap away my safety goggles, they slap away my safety goggles. That's that's not going to be the, uh, the worst thing that they could have done. And plus, they're giving me back a little bit of HP, and, uh... They're definitely within range fist uh, range, so we're going to go with that. Now, my Raging Bolt doesn't really do that much to the Rillaboom, but just to keep things on the safe side, we're going to go for the Calm Mind, and we'll go for the Rage Fist. And my opponent forfeits. All right. Good game to my opponent, and very, very good game to Annihilate. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for checking out this Raging Bolt and Annihilate team in action. We almost had a case of deja vu between both Game 1 and Game 2 since my opponent's teams were both relatively similar while also having a similar set of four for my own Pokemon come to both matches. But you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. In Game 1, we ended up going up against Walking Wake, Murkrow, Chin Pao, and Entei. While in Game 2, we had Chin Pao and Entei again but this time with Urshifu and Rillaboom to mix things up. And the nice thing here was, although we did say 
that the Urshifu was going to be kept in line by the Raging Bolt, and Annihilate just took care of it itself in Game 2, which was relatively nice. In Game 1, we got to show the team off without needing the Whimsicott Tailwind support. We ended up going for the Aurora Veil with Ninetales and having the Intimidate support off of Incineroar, which just meant that everything was living attacks that they just had no business living. And the nice thing here too was we did have the Terra Fire go up on Annihilate to make sure that we didn't have to worry about Sacred Fire from either of these Entei's. And the nice thing there was we just ended up doing so much raw damage with Annihilate that our opponent just had to try to deal with it. But you just do not contain the ape. The ape contains you or something else. I don't know. Anyways, case in point, we ended up having Annihilate just go absolutely wild between both Game 1 and Game 2. In Game 2, we brought the Whimsicott mode for the Tailwind and Annihilate just absolutely loved it and thrived. We ended up also bringing in Raging Bolt, which allowed us to take out one of the Chin Pals with Thunderclap, which was overall very nice because then it also put some pressure onto our opponents with the Urshifu. If they had a Focus Sash, we definitely had them down to rights with the Thunderclap, but Annihilate just said, no, I'll do it myself. And like Thanos, just grabbed its fist and just took it out with a nice rage-infused punch. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you next time.